why do some women seem to struggle so much with sometimes you know you mentioned earlier pms pmdd sometimes with their own natural hormone levels but when hrt is given why is it that some women really seem to struggle with progesterone uh, again it's probably genetic vulnerability uh, and it seems to be the same group of women that suffered with premenstrual syndrome or PMDD that are often progesterone or progestogen intolerant. Mm -hmm. It's usually intolerant to the progestogens, the synthetic, uh, not bioidentical version of natural progesterone, uh, which is the, uh, the problem. Although some progestogens are better than others, didrogesterone, for instance, is very similar to natural progesterone yep. um, and uh, usually better tolerated. Um, and we know that, again, in the central nervous system where natural progesterone can have a calming effect, uh, a mood settling effect, if you like, um, synthetic progestogens stimulate the progesterone receptors in a different way. They, if you like, they aggravate the progesterone receptors. They make them irritable. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and so they can have a very different effect. Um, now, for those women who are intolerant to even natural progesterone, using the progesterone vaginally rather than orally can be of benefit because when you take uh, progesterone orally, it's converted to allopregnenolone. That can be beneficial to some women who are looking for a calming effect, but for others, it can have a mood lowering effect. Mm -hmm. You don't get that conversion if with the vaginal is delivered vaginally yeah. and Nick, on the other hand for women who need help with their sleep and they oral. take the progesterone orally you know that's it's more likely to work uh, if it's taken orally so nick when women use their um body identical progesterone when they use it vaginally we've been i've been asked is it more effective to deliver it vaginally to the for the endometrial lining because you're delivering it exactly where it needs to go is it more effective than oral and as of as an effect of that can the dose be reduced so we lack head-to-head -head studies looking at the um, protective effect of oral versus vaginal but certainly if we look at levels of progesterone they are higher uh in the in the circulation if the progesterone is delivered vaginally right. because it goes directly into the bloodstream particularly yeah. around the uterine area uh, as opposed to orally where it first has to be metabolized in the liver and then delivered into the bloodstream mm. um, so in theory you could use a lower dosage um, but in practice again we lack the data to guarantee that right but if you're asking me, do I think you can get away with lower doses of progesterone if it's given vaginally for endometrial protection? Yes, I think mm -hmm. you can. Okay. The same way when we deliver intrauterine progestogen with Mirena, we don't need particularly high doses uh, and certainly very low doses in the circulation to get very good endometrial protection. Mm 